Okay, see, now we baited the trap. And now I think if we winch it down, we can get a fish. Oh, and the fish give off electricity! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, fish, come on, give me, give me, give me, fish, 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 fish. Yes! Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. Tonight we're back in Quern, and we're here in the Crystal Lab. Now last time we found this sort of cipher, which interacts with this sheet, these coordinates. And we figured out what the coordinates mean for the symbols and tried to plot them on this grid uh, control panel. The problem is, we tried just entering them, then we tried putting them in the order of the columns, that didn't work, then we tried putting them in the order of the rows, that didn't work, and then I realized right after I finished the episode that we didn't really ever try in the order that they are presented on this sheet. Okay, so let's just recap real quick, and I'm just, uh, you know, get my handy dandy notes right here. Okay, so the first symbol that we would have to enter is this circle with, uh, to that, the fourth column, so the chain link, then S, uh, the second column, then the G. Uh, the T, alright, so this, like, squiggle with a dot. I used to call it with an S or a 5 with a dot, but I realized that neither of those two actually work. Um, this, like, fallen over cross post, I guess. So this swoosh is the next symbol, and then backwards F. This fallen over cross symbol, or uh, post symbol, yeah? Okay. Oops. Whoops. Bad finger than my keyboard there, I apologize. Okay, so let's order, uh, let's enter these in the order presented. So first chain link, then the G, then this thing, the squiggle with the dot, then the swoosh, then the knocked over post. Um, cool, wait a minute. <laughs> Can't really move. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and lo and behold, a hidden staircase. Very cool. Now, um, should I get my... No, let's let's leave the... the I'm going to just call it an orange rod. Forget it. Let's find out what's down here first, eh? Cool. Um, it's a blue rod. Awesome. Take it. Q. Okay, and these crystals only glow when they're uh, electrified, right? That's that. What else we got? Got a door, which it does not open. Okay, not surprising. And then this, which looks like... What is that? It's just a glass ball with a handle. Now hook. Oh! Is this what we put? Yeah, 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 hold on. Alright, so... What can we do? What can we do? I'm just thinking. Yeah, let's go put this on, on the hook right now. Okay, so here's my thought. We're gonna put this hook. What we're we gonna put? We're gonna put this this dome or this uh, this like container on the hook here, and then maybe we can dunk it into the water. Right, right. Actually, it's maybe like it's a like it's kind of like um like a crab trap. You know what I mean? So, okay. See, now we baited the trap. And now I think if we winch it down, we can get a fish. Oh, and the fish give off electricity! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, fish, come on, give me, give me, give me, fish, 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 fish. Yes! Get that thing, and it's giving off electricity. So now, we can use the fish to charge this, right? So let's check this out real quick. Go back to the lab. Um, I know I'm running, but I, I, I mean, we've seen everything there is to see at the moment. Let's go back to the lab and check this out. The first thing I want to do is, let's, there's a, remember there's a holder here, right? So the rod goes here, the blue rod, and then we crank, lighting up just a little bit. Can we charge it? Like, permanently charge it? No. It just... As f as long as there's a little bit of current going to it. Uh, I'll go back to that. I'll get, I have an idea about that basin in a second, but hold on. No, 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 no. Go ahead. 
unclear to me. The problem is I can't disconnect it. It's unclear to me whether we can charge this thing. But, here's a thought. The fish seems to give off a much more steady stream of electricity. There's a big old basin here. Which just screams out, pour the fish here. Especially since one of the wires is running straight on through the water. And lo and behold. Um, well, you don't really need it. <laughs> but you can't... Oh, check this out. You can... Here's the important thing. You can... Let's try Oh, perfect. So I didn't I didn't actually realize it until this. You can charge a blue crystal. Right? I mean, obviously one charges from the orange crystal. But this thing's sustaining a charge. So, lo and behold. And look, when we hold it when it's our active inventory item, it's blue. It glows blue. Okay. You know what we should do? Oh, you know what we should do? We should go check out this right here. Right? We saw this bucket, and there are f secret symbols. Let's take a note. Note. Okay. Secret symbols found on... Found on brick puzzle. Need decoder cipher key before use. Um, what... Purpose? Question mark. Because, I mean, we got the brick out that we could get out, right? There's no other brick. This is the only thing in our inventory. Hmm. Okay, so, let's do a couple of things. Let's do a quick circuit around this island, just since we're projecting blue light, right? No, there's nothing. Oh, 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 oh hold on. What if we put it here? Nope, nope, nothing. Not even a sound, by the way. When we put the orange one on there, there would be a sound. Okay. Uh, this doesn't really do much. It doesn't really reveal any secret code letters for me. Uh, let's go... Nope, we just got too close. Doesn't melt anything. Fine. Uh... Should I switch this out first? Because I'm kind of curious what happens if you shine a light on that. A blue light on that. But, um... Let's... Let's finish our circuit of the island first. What the... Oh! There's another one of these things! Man, I really should... Learn to walk in the other direction. <laughs> we... No. Invisible wall. Another one of these. I have no idea what this is for, by the way, but this, like... Um... Not a Stella. This obelisk is kind of interesting, and it mirrors what was in the beginning. Okay. That's another one of those things that pops a button up. What the... Oh, man. I didn't see this either. I'm sorry, guys. We, uh... There's no... So the handle's on that side, clearly, or whatever opening mechanism is on that side. Okay, I didn't see that last time. Sorry about that, guys. Um, anything else? Anything? Anything? Nope. Single hidden icon or image. Okay. Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Nope. Something on this wall? And then this rock. No. No, and then this is broken. Okay, so let's run into town proper. And let's see. This is here. This wasn't really doing anything for us. No. What about... Ooh, what about here? What is, is there maybe something on the gate? Nope. There's some secret scrawl? No, there isn't. Okay. Let's... Maybe something on this. 
Nope, the Oculus is silent. Fine. Okay, we already know that there's something there. I mean, we saw it, and we, um, we haven't rearranged it yet. But I'm assuming it has something to do with, like, you have to move them so that the symbols align somehow. Uh, nothing. What about inside the first room we entered? Maybe something on the parchment? No. No. No, no, no. Okay, let's, uh, let's go down here. Maybe there's something on the door. A lot of grime. Okay. Maybe up here. Also not. What about back here? Let's just complete... Uh, you know what? What I'm gonna do? I thought about this when we were, uh... Uh, when I was re-watching the video from last time. I want to drop this so that... Remember, we can't go this way anymore, right? So instead, instead of going here, we have to come out from here. If we come out from here and there's no easy way back to this point, then yeah, we can drop half a bridge, but then this, the bridge will still be out. So I'd rather have this piece down already. So that whenever we show up on that side, we can just connect the bridge and be done with it. Okay? That's my thought, anyway. Anything? Anything on a lockbox, maybe? Oh. Okay, well, there's nothing. So, let's go back to the telescope. And, uh, switch out the torches. And then after that, I'm ass well, I don't know if I can assume anything. Uh, right, we check this? Yeah, we check this. There's nothing there. Okay, so here, let's switch the torches, and let's find out what happens to the buttons if we, if we shine a bright light on them. Q... There we go. Uh, it's a little bigger. This is definitely a little bigger. Um, okay. You know what this suggests to me? Let's, let's leave. Um, this suggests to me that what this is doing is not powering. This is looking. So the question is, where do you, where, if we were sadistic enough, would we put a cipher? I'm assuming the cipher is probably for the brick brick challenge, but uh, don't hold me to that. So maybe here, right? It's a pretty decent surface. Maybe here, that looks like a really decent surface, and it's kind of in shadow. Maybe on one of these two. Okay. We could probably ex hit all of them with the beam from this point. All right? It's too far away from here, so we can't really see anything. If this is not a good spot because it, it's too bright. Okay, let's keep going. Still flames out over there. Too much. Ooh, here we go. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's take a note of this. Uh, the cipher guide for the brick puzzle. Uh, revealed by Blue Rod. Rob. Rod. Okay, let's take a closer look at it. Uh, I remember, I, well, here. So, look. It's the symbol of the tumbler, of the rock tumbler, so that when it's in that position, here's the following order, and I'm just gonna take these notes. I know I got a picture of it, but what the hell now. Triangle over this thing that looks like T.I., and then this corner ball with uh, right over the percentage. And that's the order, that that's if we face right on to the tumbler to the tumbler mechanism. Okay? So that when we flip it in order to arrange them, this is actually going to be in, this is going to be mirror to us. Because, yeah. Let me just show you what I mean. So instead, this line will be closest to us, right? Because we'll be on this edge, and this will be to our right, and this will be to our left. Okay. All right, that is enough. Let's grab this. Um, yeah, it's giving off blue light. Why not? Yay? I still kind of want to know what this is about. Like, these, these, these pillars with buttons come out, and I'm assuming we have to push them. And I really do want to push them, but uh, let's do this puzzle first. Okay, uh, rotate. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. Now, 
Let's check this out. This has to be above TI, and this has to be above percentage. Okay. Well, this is simple enough this way, right? So this is already lined up. And this has to be here. It's not too hard. There we go. <sighs> Looks like a key, but let's just be sure. It is a key! Well, there are two things that may need keys. There's the lockbox, but I suspect that that's going to be a very dainty key. And then there's the door downstairs, remember? It also has a brass lock. And I think it's going to be this. Yes, it is. No? It's not going to open on its own? Fine. Out of curiosity? No. Okay. Uh, let's read the letter first. It's time you learn the truth about this island. As you probably noticed by now, this world has no day-night cycle, nor weather changes at all. In fact, the whole concept of time has a different meaning in this place. For one who stays in this world, the relative time in other worlds appears static or fixed. This incredibly powerful phenomenon also prevents the aging of living tissue. When I realized this, I was eager to find out what kind of eternal source gives Quirin this extraordinary power. It made me forget the task I originally came here for. The archaeological exploration of the Dolmarian city has become irrelevant. Uh huh. So you're 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 basically chasing what's this time commander of all things? You're basically chasing the fountain of youth, is what you're saying. But it doesn't make any sense because the moment you leave here, you're no longer stuck uh, in time, and you begin aging again, which means that you're trying to get the source. But that there's no guarantee that if you take the source, it's not gonna, you know, stop time completely. All right, what do we got here? Um, Ooh. Ooh. I don't know what that is, but okay. Uh, William Maythorn, that's our guy. The Key to Success, Volume 1. Oh, hello. Check this out. I think, I think, this looks like one of those, uh, wh whatever's in embedded in the white crystal next to the, like, telescope projector. Can I? Yeah, I can. Right, let's just click it all the way around. Cool. All right. Uh, let's just have that out for good measure. Um, anything? Oh. <laughs> the Pentagon. I was going to say Pentagram. It's the Pentagon. Remember that door in the main square? This goes into it. I'm assuming it's the way that we open it, but let's see. All right, that's it, right? There's nothing else. We can't take like the quill pen or whatever. No. Okay. This is kind of a drab basement, man. I don't know why you would have this like super secret hideout. Also, there's no real way to open it from down there, so. I'm just saying. Uh, okay, let's. We don't know what this thing is for. Not yet, at least. I'm sure we'll find out. Let's put the Pentagon into the Pentagon, right? Right. Okay, that didn't work. Um, didn't work either. Hmm. Interesting and disappointing at the same time. Still perple uh, you know what? Hold on, we have this, right? Look at that. I was thinking about this. There's a nice metal end cap on this. I don't know how tall these 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 rods are, but maybe... No. I don't know. I thought it's sturdier than wood. Worth a shot. Uh, let's see. What's left? Okay, so that's not moving. Sorry, the, the blue glow is starting to annoy me a little. Okay. Um, so... Pentagon door is not opening. I think we need to do something more. 
We found the key to open the door. Giving us this weird other contraption. You know, I think it was all that's left. I think all that's left is to play with these buttons. And just see what they. Let's just see what they do. Forget. Like, I mean, playing with them. Forget anything specific. Let's just at least figure out what the heck they do. All right. So let's just turn on the panel. Uh, no, I haven't gotten far enough. Sorry. Right. Wham. Okay. Let's at least find out what happens if I push the button, yeah? Um... Okay. So now, we know of three other pa three other pillars, right? There's this one, there's the one over there, by like the, the ferris, the, the pirate's wheel, and then there is... this one off the corner a little bit, right? This turns on, this is one. Uh, I... Does order matter? Can we just hit the button? Let's just see. Alright, I'm gonna go with order matters. <laughs> okay, so this turns on, this is one. I just know what this is. These, like... Lights. Okay. Crystal glows. Perfect. I kind of wish there was a, 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 not a cipher, but like, an order to these things. Let's... I feel like you're not supposed to find this until last. A weird hunch, you know what I mean? Like, just easy pickings. This one, obviously. The Ferris wheel, the pirate wheel one. This one seems hidden. This one deliberately seems hidden. So let's just see. No. It is the pirate wheel. Sorry. 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 Um, incidentally, in the comments, if you know if there's like an easier... I mean, I hate that this kind of looks like I'm brute forcing it. And I don't really mean to. Okay, that's good. Let's reverse my theory here. I'm going to probably lose completely out on this. But leave that one alone. Let's hit the one by the door, because now these are the three that everyone should know, right? That one, the other one is for something. Yes! Slightly, slightly, slightly more observant people, I suppose. But, yeah, so I don't like that it kind of looks like we're brute forcing it, because I kind of am. Okay, well, that solved the puzzle, because I got a save game, but... What puzzle did it solve? May I ask? No. Uh, let's get the torch, because it's not doing any good for anybody anymore. Right? Yeah, not doing anything. Torch, and let's run. It's fine. Let's go to the main square. Maybe, there, maybe the other Oculus has, like, a button we can push now. Right? The one that's, like, right over... Hello? Whoa. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I know, I recognize that as well. Holy moly. Okay. Um just see something here. Buttons, buttons, buttons. Nice. You guys recognize these these two prongs right here and why they are relevant? Because this one is that. I think it goes right here. But more importantly, I recognize what this is. So this little pin, pin, right? Plus the three sides. Let me just double check. Oh, it doesn't actually work unless I order organize them. So here's the pin. And now we need to organize the three sides. And we need to organize it so that it's like this. And then one more can go straight up. There we go. That's one. So I'm assuming. So I'm assuming. I'm. I'm guessing. Let's just take that. I'm guessing then that we need two more. One of them is going to be the one from the white crystal, and there's going to be another one lying around. I don't know from where. The one in the white crystal is this one, because I think it only has two movie pieces, moving pieces. And then we have one with four at least. And then this unlocks. 
I'm gonna guess that this, once this unlocks, we can slide this down, and this then crunches into the ground and brings the lighthouse down. Could be, could be, could be, all right. But in the meantime, let's put this panel up here, or over here. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> smudges, smudges. We, it looks like we have to move. Kind of feels like we need to move our finger, no? I'm just holding down the button. Is that a thing? No. What if we... What if we do that? Do I have to do that, or is it one click per button? Okay, one click per button. Let's try that. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, I hear that sound, and I see the save game logo. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. North Shore discovered. Holy moly, guys, this is a huge area. Oh my god. Okay, we're not even going to start in on this. We are not going to start in on this, and I know that has to anger all of you. <laughs> because, look, there's already a puzzle. There's probably stuff I can interrupt. Right, okay, I gotta stop. Okay, I gotta stop. Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to call it there. Next time we come back, we're going to explore the North Shore. We're going to find out... Maybe we can find another one of those keys... Maybe not. Maybe there's going to be something else. But in any case, uh, we'll come back and we'll we'll proceed as per usual. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Let's me know that I'm doing something right. Let's me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. Now, if you think I overlooked something, if you know, for the buttons one, for the one where we activate like little pillars, uh, if you think there's an there's something that was hinting at that particular order of pillars. By all means, let me know in the comments, because it feels like I over... I, I feel like I overlooked something, because I don't know if I should have just been able to figure that one out by myself. But, you know. We figured it out, but let me know. If you think so, if you think I overlooked something, if you think I could be doing something different, if you'd like to see something different, or if you just have thoughts on what's going on, and, and you know, beyond the fact that obviously we can't trust the professor, by all means, leave a comment. Everything's welcome, and in any case... I'll see you all next time. Better,